Hey, what's going on guys? I regret not using this tool for Google Maps. Hey, what's going on guys? Guys, if you know me, you've been following me for a while, you know I've been doing this Google Maps for about 13 years and uh, I, I've been doing website design for over 25 years. So, you know, you get so inundated with the amount of new tools that come out, you say, well, I have this tool, maybe that one's not so important. It was the other day that I started thinking about BARD, and I've been using ChatGPT for some of my SEO work, but I was like, maybe BARD knows how to beat Google, right? Because it's part of Google. It's no, uh, I'm sure other people have figured that out, but it took me some time to think about that. I was like, you know what? Let me let me do like let me do a little experiment. So here's what I did. I typed in plumbers near me and I found somebody that's in the Google three pack, for example, uh, Gulf View. And then I went to more places. It was something like ABC plumbing or something. Let me just go down here. And I found a, I found a another place. Here it goes. How ABC plumbing and heating here in uh, Tampa Bay. So. I asked Google, I was like, hey, Bard, uh, can you please tell me why Gulf View Plumbing and Water Treatment is ranking in Google Business Profile on the plumbers near me? What could I do to get ahead of them? My business profile is ABC Plumbing and Heating. Well, it gave me a couple of interesting ideas. Now, what it, it came up with was uh, Gulf View has more positive reviews, right? So I was just under the impression that the amount of reviews mattered, uh, uh, not necessarily the amount of reviews, how how keyword dense the reviews were, and then how many of those keyword dense, meaning some people use the keyword plumbers, I was looking for a plumber near me, for example. Uh, you know, if, if you had 20 or 30 people putting that in there, in their uh, review, you would rank for that keyword. But that's not necessarily true. What Google's looking for is positive uh, reviews, right? Positive reviews, naturally, with the keyword in it. Another thing is Gulf View may have a longer history of operation than ABC. So I get a lot of clients coming to me. And it's like the first question they ask me is, how long will it take to rent? Uh, to rank in the Google three pack. They're brand new business. You're going against businesses for 20 years that have been trying to rank in the Google three pack. That's why I say it is so important to get the um, program called Local Falcon. I have an affiliate link below, but using Go, uh, Local Falcon, Local Falcon will show you uh, where you're ranking and, and, and how far away you are from the Google three pack. So that's really important. Now, GoFu may have more a complete Google business profile than ABC. So I can't tell you how important that is to uh, fill out your, your full Google business profile and keep it updated with pictures, not only pictures of your job, but pictures of your surrounding area. I'll say that again. That was gold. Take pictures of your surrounding area. So if there's a precinct in your area or a library, a firehouse, a statue that's just, you know, in, in your area, take pictures of that, upload that to Google Business Profile. So the next question I asked was, well, how, how exactly can I get ahead of, uh, of uh, Gulf View? And once again, more positive reviews. But here's the thing, uh, optimize your Google Business Profile. But here's something that I don't do. Two things I don't do. Build backlinks to your website. I am not a backlink guy for a Google business profile. In fact, if you've listened to a couple of my videos, I've said to use re reviews are for Google business profile where backlinks are for organic, for the organic listings. And what Google's saying here is that backlinks are important. Backlinks in your area, not backlinks to CNN or to Tesla or, you know, Forbes magazine. No, backlinks to your local chamber of commerce, to your local newspaper, local businesses in your area. Backlinks are important. Now, what I could say about that, guys, is if you can't get backlinks to um, to uh, from from people that are uh, have businesses like, you know, 
uh, newspapers and chamber of commerce if you're not a, if you're not a member. I would create your own properties. For example, the 10 best things to do in Cleveland, Ohio. And just keep adding to that blog. Uh, buy, buy a domain name, add to it, and then little by little start putting your link on that on that website linking back to you. You see? So I would do things like that if I couldn't get any if I couldn't get any links. The other thing that's real important is run Google Ads campaign. You know, I think what Google's saying here is if you can't get to Google to the Google three pack, right? Um, run some Google ads, but I think it's deeper than that. I think there may be a correlation with getting in the Google three pack and running ads. I'd like to know your thoughts on it. If you want to uh, answer below, put your comments below. I'd like to know what you think about that. Is running Google ads a um, part of part of the ranking structure in Google for ranking in the Google three pack? Or is Bard just saying, hey, you want to get in the Google three pack, run some ads? I believe that it's I believe it's the first. I believe that you should run ads. Right. So I, I asked Google Bard, I was like, look, this is really important to me. What are some things that I, I really want you to be? You know, I really want you to tell me what to do now. Watch this. It said post regular Google business profile uh, uh, posts. Right. So you want to you want to post three to five times per week. Interact with your customers, meaning respond to all reviews. And whether that's good or bad, respond to them. Also, if if, if uh, clients message you, respond to that. Uh, use Google Post to promote news and updates. Get featured in Google Local Guide recommendations. Right. So that's something that you want to look up because Google has Google Guide uh, Guide recommendations where they recommend different services. So you, you, you definitely want to look that up. And of course, you want to encourage your customers to leave reviews. Um, you know, once again, I asked them to be more specific. I wanted to see if we could, you know, really dial down. But, you know, that's basically what it came. That's really what it comes comes up with. I just wanted to create a short video on on uh, Bard. I think it's real important. The way to get to it is just bard.google.com and then what you do is you just use your Gmail account to sign up and you just come to a page just like this. There you go and it just gives you a really quick way to get in there and um, I'd be very interested if you could please leave your comments below. In, in some of the things that you discovered. Guys, it was great having you today. Once again, this video is dedicated to my friend, Mr. Darren Marion from uh, Retail SEO. I really couldn't be where I am today without him. So, you know, I, I thank him for everything that he did helping me in my journey. And be good to your family, Could be good to your wife, be good to your kids, kiss your wife, kiss your kids, and uh, clean up around the house, right? Because we're not just sitting in front of a computer 18 hours a day. Right. Get up every once in a while and help out around the house. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you.